Hey, dear loves, I'm Nicole, and welcome to your May 2018 Spiritual Guidance. Honey, it's all about law of attraction this month. And so come into May knowing very well what you wish to manifest. Be very clear in what you are pulling to you this month because you're committing to it. On May 15th, we've got the Taurus New Moon, and that is building that solid foundation very strong, stable, secure footing in your career life and in your love life as well. This is about mutual patience and generosity and respect. This is about mutual loyalty and trustworthiness in your relationship life and what fulfills you and who doesn't do it for you. That's going to come up for you this month. And by the end of the month where you have settled for less in love and in money, it's going to be very, very clear. And Spirit's doing that in all of its challenging and uncomfortable circumstances that will show up this month to absolutely put you in the best path forward. So honey, we get one life to live. Baby, live yours to the fullest. You can live your dreams. Manifest them starting today. Let's get started. Hi, dear Aries. Welcome to your May 2018 spiritual guidance. So Aries, around the first couple of weeks, this is really hitting you in new beginnings in your value system, your self-worth, what you deserve in your money, and what you're getting from your lover or in your relationship life. And towards the end of the month, this is an understanding of your travels and your philosophy changing. And also uh, where you might be deciding to lay low or decide to up and uh, relocate countries. But it's definitely a long distance there. And also where you can or should go back to school, higher education. So let's go ahead and begin. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Divine Source. Thank you so much, Heavenly Angels. Thank you so much. Please show dear Aries their spiritual guidance for May 2018. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. I just heard the, the word wish. Walk away from whatever situation needs to go maybe that word wish is coming in from i wish things were different i wish i knew which way to go whatever way, whichever way is really causing you so much stress and strife walk away from it okay you heal inspire teach and entertain with the words you write so you might be deciding to write a book. You might be deciding to plan and structure your content with your business. Thank you. Woo! Thank you so much. Thank you so much. But walk away. You're safe and supported to make that career change. Remember, your philosophy is changing. And the first two weeks, you're going to feel new beginnings need to happen in your value system and what you deserve as far as money and what you deserve in love, your standards, your requirements, um, what you do to earn the money that you make, your career, your price points, your packages. Thank you so much. Cost of your products. All right. Spirit is, oh. That's one. Thank you so much. Asking you to do a walking meditation each day for the next week. This is extreme solitude and needing to make a decision. When you're doing a walking meditation, you're connecting the soles of your feet to Mother Earth, okay? So when you walk, you're making sure that the soles of your feet connect 
and be by yourself as much as you can. If the kids are with you, tell them to walk in front of you a little bit, but definitely try your best to be by yourself for at least 15 minutes, you know, go for a nice walk and connect because that's when our ancestors are connecting with us and you're connecting with Mother Earth, which tells me that there's a lot of changes happening and this is the month for you to really make that solid step. There's a major decisions I feel, but you are already there. I wish. I wish things could be different. I wish. I wish. That's what I keep hearing for you. I wish. So do what you have to to get back into order, get back into balance, dear Aries, but definitely do that walking meditation. The new moon is a new beginning in your earnings. So if you're out of balance, you're not making enough money, um, it's time to walk away from whatever position you're in that's not fulfilling. If Spirit's been telling you go into business for yourself and you've been doubting it, you're safe and you're protected to go into that career change and it's healing. And you are definitely either a coach, a consultant, an educator, um, your, your product is educating the hearts and souls and minds ooh, of many. It's time for you to pull back. Definitely um, have that escape. Um, pamper yourself, treat yourself, but go within and definitely retreat. If you're coupled up, go with your lover. You might be escaping um, them, so you might be by yourself. But you might just be in need of really just having a time out on your own and that walking meditation gives you that thank you so much thank you so much but it's it's really time for you to leave everyone else behind and just escape for a little while oh okay so there's someone else in the story you might have your eye on someone else there might be someone else that showed up um, this also could be work. You know, we sometimes are married to our work and our partner doesn't understand that. Um, but there's a soulmate stage that's stopping you from coming together in that full embrace. And experiencing those intense moments can pull you out of your equilibrium. Uh, but your spiritual pursuits and physical pleasures are out of balance. So do what you can to get back into sync and use the wisdom that's gifted to you in your moments of solace to your benefit here. Be very selective about who you let in your business, who you let into your relationship life. Um, your partner may be seeing someone else, you may be seeing someone else, but again, it could be the work, it could be family, it could be needing to know how to balance the roles and multitask, but pulling back and seeing where spirit is telling you, hey, trust that you have all the resources you need already to get through these challenging times. Have time by yourself. Do that walking meditation for one week straight and see what comes to you. And also remember your writing. You're, you could be writing in your journal. You could be automatic writing, which means you are connecting with the divine and uh, your spirit guides and your angels are speaking through you. That's the most high. That's God speaking through you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. I do feel like you are really wishing to be out of the country, out of another. You're just wishing to be in another uh, place of residence, I feel. I feel like you're ready to go. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Okay, so deepen your spiritual connection this month. That's where it's at for you. And that's what you're going to meditate on. You're going to meditate on exactly what spirit has in store for you 
coming into June, but in May, you are starting new beginnings in your earnings, your value system, your self-worth, your standards, um, the effort that you put into your business, your career. And uh, by the end of the month, there is a culmination, an ending that has to do with um, your philosophy, going back to school. Uh, you might be ending a semester. You might be beginning the new chapter of your life after graduating. Um, there's also an understanding of travels. So your travels may be coming to an end. You might be on a stipend. You might have uh, traveled abroad for learning. Um, but you definitely are taking that information, that knowledge, and you're sharing it in your spiritual gifts and starting in a beautiful phase of enlightenment. Go Aries, because you've already started this path. So this is definitely confirmation for you to go into your life mission because honey, you're going to succeed. Just deepen your spiritual connection through prayer, meditation, reflection, and strengthening your spiritual practice on a daily basis. Okay? Don't forget to do your walking meditation for at least seven days and see what comes of it because spirit is talking directly to you. Please like, comment, subscribe, share, and honey, I will see you so soon. Hi, dear Taurus. Welcome to your spiritual guidance for May 2018. Taurus, you've got our new moon this month. And this is all about you. This is about your appearance, your view on the world, and you going out and making your mark. And this is building that solid foundation. When you see threes, please pay attention. That's going to be spirit speaking directly to you. That's your spiritual guidance this month, okay? Uh, also, this is about the way you communicate, your walk, your talk, your behavior, everything, all eyes on you. And this is a new beginning. So this is all things that you want to manifest, pour your energy into it and see it happen. You're extremely intuitive, passionate, romantic, and creative. You're loyal to what you feel um, closest to. Use that to your advantage. Towards the end of the month, you're going to be transformed. This is energy in the full moon that for you is all about your transformation. Rising from the phoenix into the dove. Passing the eagle. You're, re you're really rising to your spirituality and you're receiving benefits from other people. Accept the help. Don't be stubborn and say no. Accept the support that you're given and trust it. Let's begin. Thank you so much, Divine Source, Heavenly Angels. Thank you so much for dear Taurus. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. This also might be a higher payout in your, in your uh, taxes. Remember, you're spiritually gifted. Don't doubt it, okay? You're becoming even more sensitive to your spiritual gifts. And you have that duality. Definitely want you to check out your clear quartz, your onyx. Okay? Speak your truth. You're transforming. So your life mission, your sole purpose is involved in conducting meetings, training, coaching, consulting, speaking to your clients, your customers. I see working with children too. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Uh oh, thank you. All right. Okay, reading, research, education helps you gain confidence and clarity about your career, your life mission. This could be an online course that you're um, hesitating and taking. Definitely go ahead and take it and see where spirit is leading you remember you're transforming and it's all about you right now so really being sensitive to what spirit shows you this month remember your messages are going to come in triplicate and when you see that number please pay attention to how you feel honor your intuition 
if you feel radiating against your back, if you feel waves of emotion, that spirit upon you, that's the Holy Spirit. That is also interaction from the spirit realm. So you're already aware of you being an empath and an intuit. You know, you are definitely gifted. Study your craft, study your gifts, and speak. Share your story because you've definitely got some stories to tell and you're very creative. People want to hear what you have to say, dear Taurus. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. I know you're very shy and you don't want to get in front of people, but now is the time. Thank you so much. Thank you so much because you're transforming. Look at that. The beautiful peacock. Let yourself be, be seen. Stand out and be noticed, honey. You are transforming like never before. So please take advantage of it. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. If someone asks you to be the keynote speaker, do it. If someone asks you to uh, be the one to lead the meeting, do it. If someone asks you to teach this course, do it. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Because there's other people in the audience that I'm looking at are watching you. You know what I'm seeing, Clark Kent? There's someone in the background watching um, him as he's up at the podium and they already see him transforming and he doesn't even realize that they're seeing it. They're the only person in the audience that can see him transforming and they're writing notes. So that's you transforming right before the eyes and souls of those that you need in your tribe, okay? Take the time to listen compassionately to those that mean the most to you. Remember, that's your energy. You're loyal to those that mean the most to you and things that you're passionate about. Okay, so your family and friends are going to come to you with spiritual guidance. Look at it in triplicate. One person says this to you speaks of your spiritual gifts. You're such an intuit. You're so, you already know what I'm saying before I even say it. How do you know that? How do you do that? Then the next person, a couple days later, says the same thing in different words. And then a third person says, uh, you know, I saw so-and-so and, -so and uh, you should be doing that. You're such, you're so intuitive. Why aren't you a reader? And you're like, what? Miss Nicole said, watch my spiritual guidance in triplicate, you know? And so that's how it really happens. Thank you so much. That spirit speaking to you, honey. Oh, you do have two. All right. Thank you so much. It's time, dear Taurus. Talk about synchronicity. It's time for you to get out on your own and show them what you got. Relinquish your over-dependency on others. It's time for you to let yourself stand out. Educate yourself, you know, self-study, get to the library, get to that online course. Start investing in self and start coaching. Get your mentor that you resonate with. But definitely keep a sense of humor about things. People aren't going to like it. Some people are going to love it. Honor your sensitivity because Spirit's telling you here, don't be concerned about what they have to say. Thank you so much. Remember, it's about you. You own this new moon. And you're all about your groundedness. You're all about um, making it happen and really starting a solid foundation, being creative. And Spirit's got this here for you, showing you. Thank you so much. The gorilla, fiercely loyal, very loyal to their family, very quiet in nature, very sensitive, very gentle. You, very gentle, unless you are disturbed and aggravated. And then just like the gorilla, you go on attack. And you're supposed to, but honor your sensitivity so that you're not wasting your energy because you're too precious for that. And Spirit's showing you that here. All right, so check in with how you feel this month. Trust the Most High. Whatever loss is happening, it is minor. You see these beautiful heart balloons going up on a beautiful clear blue sky? That sad moment will pass, okay? Change your perspective. Consider the other person, where they're coming from. You know, seek the high road and seek out that balance. 
This is about forgiveness. Forgiveness to the mother in your life, could be your children's mother, could be your own mother, could be a mother figure, could be you. But it's definitely time to begin with forgiveness, to seek the high road, seek that healing that has to happen. Checking in with yourself. Um, we have our I Feel Stuffies coming out very soon that you can order from NicoleXO.com. And I'm big on this because it really, really works. Um, and what it is, is you're using your I feel statements, grounding and centering yourself. This is your new moon, so the energy is going to come to you. I feel. Close your eyes and see these beautiful little baby chicks, okay, in the palm of your hand. What do they feel like? It's important for you to be comfortable speaking your truth and creating moments of closeness from that truth, okay, from that vulnerability. So when you feel like all hope is lost, things are exactly the way they should be right now, all right? Reach out and call out on God and just say thank you because Source is pulling you where you need to be. Source is in front of you. God, the Most High, is in front of you. It's time for you to allow Spirit in front of you instead of depending on other people to do it for you. All right, dear Taurus, thank you so much for tuning in. Please like, comment, subscribe, and share. And honey, I'll see you very soon. Hi, dear Gemini. Thank you and welcome to your May 2018 Spiritual Guidance. I'm Nicole. And Gemini, this month for the first couple of weeks, it's all about your spirituality. Start in that life mission, your soul purpose that you've been dreaming of. It's time for you to live your dream life and to create it because you know you're spiritually gifted. This is all about letting the baggage go, the emotional weight of the naysayers and the doubt, the fear under being spiritually gifted and knowing it and, letting, and having your family tell you for years that that's not something you should do. This is in your soul, it's in your blood, it's in your veins, and it's something that is, is your niche, your audience is waiting for you, your tribe is waiting for you. No one can deliver that spiritual knowledge quite like you. And this is the month where Spirit is asking you to step out on faith and to start living in your mission. This is about looking at your self-destructive, self-sabotaging, self-hurting, um, ways and to begin to heal. Start that new path. Uh, watch out for the hidden enemies there because the hidden enemy that I'm looking at is in the mirror. It's your shadow self. It's the doubt. It's the fear. So you're beating human conditioning this month. Towards the end of the month, dear Gemini, honey, it's all about relationships and partnerships for you. Business, love, and don't forget self. This is a union with our Creator. Strengthen your bond with divine source and you will succeed in your life mission and your soul purpose. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, heavenly angels. Thank you so much, divine source. We are so thankful. Lord, thank you so much. This can also be an ending to some of uh, my dear Gemini's um, pains sorrows, woes, but it can also be an ending to a relationship that you've decided to uh, close, to get closure on because you didn't receive closure before. Uh, right now it's time for you to take this energy this month and move in your path. You're a healer. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. You've got these spiritual gifts that Spirit just told you about. And honey, Forgive your parents, forgive your family, forgive your grandma, forgive Nana, because she, uh, you know, sometimes they fear more than what we do, okay? And sometimes they do it different. But honey, your ancestors are definitely praying for you on the other side. Open that book. Educate yourself. Go in your life purpose, okay? You might be writing a book. You might be creating your content. But you're certainly a healer, and Spirit's telling you to pursue that right now. 
There is an ending in a partnership. There is an ending in a relationship. But begin with self. And, uh, you know, draw close to your past. Because you are who you are becoming. Thank you so much. But you are... You are definitely protected and being guided to create your reality. Thank you so much. All right, I just heard on the Luna, which is the loner, there's a new beginning for you. And that's obvious, but I feel many of you needed to hear that clearly. Get support from those that can support you. Not everybody can. Family, blood, best friends, not everybody can. Not everyone in my family supports me. People are still just coming out of the woodworks and saying, wow, you know, I'm proud of you. People can't support you if they can't support their own dreams. Create your sacred space for you and your creator. That's God, all right? And start doing it. Because you've got this healing energy and people are waiting for you because you are how they can connect with Divine Source. Thank you so much. Don't give up. Woo! That was hot. Who is that? Oh, all right. No complaining. Don't give up. And focus your attention on the blessings in your life no complaining keep going all right it's time it's time thank you so much thank you so much thank you so much your higher self this is your spirituality it's time to strengthen your spirit your spiritual practice deepen your spiritual connection all right focus on your spiritual sight you so much oh okay now it's time for you to really look at it what do you fear what's in your heart honey you're spiritually gifted and you know it and you know that you want to manifest positive outcomes what are you in fear of letting go you do not want to net manifest negative prophecy here you can people do that all the time stay positive deepen your faith and listen to your intuition in your family your love life and your career but there's definitely some a fear of letting someone go thank you so much sometimes you have to separate in order to clear the air and figure out exactly which way to go. Thank you so much. Sometimes people have to know that what is important enough for you to continue, maybe they can get on board, but sometimes you do have to go like this to come back together. All right, babies, you ready? What does spirit say? Throughout your reading, be optimistic, honey. The challenges that come be optimistic. It's time to forgive. It's a little difficult to read, so I'm going to do that. It's time for you to deepen your faith. Again, deepen your faith. Deepen your faith. And remain positive. Avoid drama, gossip, and toxic situations. Surround yourself with love from a variety of resources, family, and friends. Don't forget to self-love at this time. Spirit is reminding you that your blessing is riding in. Keep wishing upon a star and moving towards your intimate goals, okay? Okay, so there is somebody letting go of someone, but honey, it's not for long or you're with the wrong person. You got to choose. Spirit has been sending you messages from the spirit realm on why this person is not for you. Please listen to your intuition. Don't go back to a toxic relationship. You do not have to force love or attention from someone unavailable, unworthy, or is only physical attraction filling a void. You do not have to settle. Once you remove the block you've settled into, dear love, divine source will begin moving you in the direction you're meant to go in. Marriage is found within the relationship right now or you're seeking marriage commitment. It's in your intimate life. Spirit is reminding you that marriage is on the horizon and not to worry. 
you're preparing for the right one and guess what the right one is preparing for you okay stay optimistic dear dear gemini's honey marriage is in the full moon for you this month marriage union partnership thank you so much divine source please show dear gemini what their meditation is thank you so much but remember it's on a full moon which common is a culmination there is an ending so there is going to be some endings just as spirit said earlier but you are in control of creating your destiny okay honor your responsibilities who are you responsible for what are you responsible for responsibility what is your true responsibility here this month what are you in fear of letting go of and how are you deciding on what's not for you maybe lower standards may or maybe spirit is telling you to higher your standards in relationship and um money also and what you earn how you price your packages your products your services whatever that is for you but also what and who are you married to who are you responsible for are you responsible for your children and not for another grown person are you responsible for yourself and not someone else's children if you're not married to them you know are you uh, giving way too much and way more than need be well dear Gemini I send you my love and I thank you for tuning in for your spiritual guidance please like comment subscribe and share honey I'll see you very soon hi dear cancer I'm Nicole and welcome to your May 2018 spiritual guidance cancer the first two weeks for you is all about innovation please use technology um, really look beyond the next best thing okay look beyond it because you're gonna see it you're gonna have that spark in your intuition you're gonna see that vision on what to use so if you're working on your website click funnels pause meditate wait reflect and listen to your spiritual guidance let your soul because it's very strongly connected uh, to the divine tell you which way to go okay it may not be your web developer that knows the answer it's absolutely you it may not be your business coach it may not be your partner your spouse but it's coming from the most high so listen and honor that um, also working with your friends family your group association is improving you're building your tribe and you're come you're connecting you're coming together on a whole new way you've got your groove back and it really is beautiful please use that energy to the max for your money your earnings your love everything let your friends hook you up this month if you're single definitely falling in love with friends that you used to know from high school from college coming back together and it you know you're getting that spark absolutely beautiful falling back in love with your husband your wife of 50 years that kind of good stuff also um, and don't forget don't don't doubt yourself you know the answer don't validate through someone else this month it's really coming from you by the end of the month you're talking about your daily routine it's changing honey you might be uh, a early bird whereas before you were a night owl but your routine is changing your whole workout routine your health regimen everything but it's it's beautiful because you've started a brand new quality of life continue it thank you so much thank you so much divine source thank you so much it's all about you know ooh, where your health and wellness needs to be and improving upon that this month so also your life purpose you might just be the one that's conducting that meeting absolutely do that you might be the one that's holding that keynote or serving as a keynote speaker thank you so much you might be the one in charge but this is a leadership role if someone asks you to stand in for them at the meeting at hosting an event please do it wow these are very uh, synchronistically coming out so make sure you're viewing your sun moon rising and cusp signs also all right so you're letting go of the past you're bowing out gracefully letting go of any 
fussing and arguing and and trying to hang on to a toxic relationship there be it uh, business financial emotional building a brand new everything okay you're doing it remember that you are the smart one okay you don't have to validate through anybody else you know exactly because you're seeing it you've got that vision you know exactly what the answer is thank you so much and you're building it you're bringing it to you this month you're changing what doesn't work what's unhealthy for you so that's in love that's in business if you realize that you can't work three jobs and you need to really uh, get a promotion if you realize that you know what I just I am done with retirement I need to go back to work if you're done with a certain career it's driving you crazy it's causing you to pay more daycare than if you work from home then it's time for you to change it up and you're going to be happy to build it now to really step out on faith and continue in this beautiful path that spirit has for you thank you so much time to practice whole new day whole do whole new everything your routine remember you're building thank you so much step back see your goal stay optimistic but you got to let go of your past thank you so oh goodness No complaining, focus. Focus on where you're going, where are you headed? You're creating your destiny, you create your reality. You absolutely are bringing dreams to fruition this month. It's beautiful and it's not for everybody to see. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. But when you when you practice, 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 that's what's making you successful. And when other people are saying, hey, I think you should do this and that, for you, dear loves, you know the answer. So if they're saying something that doesn't resonate with you, then pull back and refocus, realign, regroup, and then come back and meet with them and have that conversation because you absolutely are strongly connected this month okay if you felt like you weren't so connected with with divine source if you felt like your spiritual practice was kind of waning then honey be reminded that no you're not a one woman island you're not a one man island and your spirit guides are around you and always have been and they're reminding you this month that they are your family and they're comforting you during any difficult time that you have this month your angels are sent by the most high to hug you and to love you through each moment and so if you feel like you're breaking down call on God cry out to God and talk to God fall back in love with the Most High you've got a soulmate reunion happening this month if you've already fallen in love with a friend that that friend may be hooking you up with another friend please go do it this is the month for that the first couple of weeks go on that date uh, call a friend and tell them you know I'm willing to go on that blind date okay then you know or meet up with whoever has been trying to get um, with you and that may be a business contact that connects you with the love of your life it may be um, a, co a connection with your career that ends up sparking your own marriage you know back into the passion and the and the fire that you once had for each other but you've already met your soulmate or your soulmate reunion is on the horizon, dear Cancer. So keep reaffirming, visualizing, and moving toward your soulful reconnection. No complaining. No saying, you know, I wish this and that, and why can't this and that, and they don't, you know, do the. No, 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 no. You're building. You're already, you're preparing. Spirit has you in the right path. So even though it may seem a little tough, Step back, refocus, realign, and re-strategize. Thank you so much. And remember, 
This is more than faking it until you make it. This is knowing who you are and you are who you are becoming. You are no longer your past. Thank you so much. I don't feel that. Thank you so much. Please show us. Divine Source, thank you so much. Oh, I see romance. Thank you so much. I just saw someone give you a rose. And now I see a woman proposing to a gentleman. That's awesome. Wow, that's beautiful. Oh, minor. Whatever tough times is going on, it's minor. You see those red heart balloons coming, going up, the white heart balloons. This is a clear blue sky. Means that it's a tough moment, but pull back. That separation is needed in order for you to get through it. Change your perspective. View the other person's point of view. Take what they're going through into consideration. And seek the high road to move forward and to receive your blessings, Cancer. Because your day-to-day, -day, your work is totally improving. See your pride. You take pride in a job well done. Stretch your stuff this month because you sure enough do deserve it. Thank you so much. Dear Cancer, have a beautiful month. Thank you so much for tuning in. Please like, comment, subscribe, and share. And honey, I will see you very soon. Hi dear Leo, I'm Nicole and welcome to your May 2018 spiritual guidance. Leo, this month for the first couple of weeks, you're going to feel uh, like, you know, there's fresh beginnings, a new start in your, um, your role in your community, uh, becoming more highly visible in your work, your career, really climbing to that next milestone in your accomplishments, in uh, financial gain, uh, but you're definitely investing a lot more of self into your career life, into your, your life mission, your sole purpose, into writing that book, into really looking at how you're viewed in your workplace, how people are looking at you. You know, are they looking at you as, uh, she is so stylish, I just really respect her. Are they looking at you as, you know, I wish he would show up to on time, you know, or something like that. But there is definitely high visibility your way and you're starting to see it. And these first two weeks, you're making those changes to really reflect where you are going because all about it's all about I am who I am becoming. You are not your past. You have a clear understanding of that this month. And moving towards the end of the month, this is uh, your true love. This is really what um, is still missing in your soul mission, your life mission, your soul purpose. What is your calling and refining that. And this is also in uh, having, you know, fun. It's all about where you're not having that fun, where you're not being romanced. Uh, are you with your true love or not? This is really paying time, spending time with the children, getting outdoors and enjoying um, pleasure and recreation and uh, really just, you know, and being flirtatious. And where that's not happening, you're going to start seeing that and start making some changes very, very soon. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Divine Source. Thank you so much for our dear Leos. Woo! Look at that, okay? So you're spending time with children. By the end of the month, you may have decided that, you know what? This is my calling. This is my life mission. I'm an educator. You know, I might go into the, the hospitals and work with uh, sick children. This is something that you're doing. You might be a coach sporting coach. You might be empowerment coach for children. Honor your sensitivity. Okay, that duality of self. Paying attention to your spiritual gifts. And your creative expression naturally comes to you. And at the end of the month, you're going to see where 
um, what type of artist you are, your creative expression is not being fulfilled, and what you can do to make sure you feel fulfilled in it. Because when you do, you will have tapped into your life mission. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. And look at you. Thank you so much. When you feel those waves of energy coming your way, I see the number five for you. That spirit talking to you. Really want you to look at five. The spiritual meaning to five is karmic change. And it's going to happen either way you put it. So be in front of it and meet it because I feel like karma is going to be showing you you know this way over here you didn't like the result you got last time go in this direction take time to rest and recuperate rather than continuing your striving so with the spirit of the goose you are contemplating thank you so much realign re-strategize Mercury was just retrograde. Maybe that just tripped you up a little bit. But your ancestral guides are there. So go outside and pay close attention. When you start seeing five and listening to the wind, when the wind whistles by you and blows your hair, blows your skin, and all of a sudden something comes to you, a thought, a vision, an idea, a concept. That is your ancestors speaking directly to you. Okay? It's something that you did not think before because it came directly from the spirit realm. All right? And so if spirit's telling you, hey, why haven't you tried uh, wiring, wire sculptures? You know, and you feel, oh my gosh, I used to do that all the time when I was 13. I used to beg for my parents to get um, the material, and I used to love it. I used to become completely wrapped inside of it. And so now where you are a musician, you're saying, oh my gosh, I could have totally been doing this, and now I love it because somehow you're putting two and two together. So that is, and you may be teaching it to children. You may be creating your own... Um, online program that parents can purchase for an affordable price and and you're you're making money that way you know it really is going to come to you like oh my gosh that kind of thing thank you so much so honor your sensitivity because you've got that spiritual sight here okay with the clear accords here absolutely the changes Look at the number five because that is that karmic change. Um, if you're waking up and you're seeing it, let's say you wake up at 345, 355 consistently, ask, Divine Source, please show me my spiritual guidance the way that I can receive it. If you start seeing it um, when you're going places, just, no, don't feel that. Just ask and Spirit will show you. God will always show you. Okay, just trust yourself. And you have the spirit of discernment. You already know what it is. And you'll, you'll, when you trust it, when you trust yourself, you'll know it. Thank you so much. You'll know what spirit's telling you. Thank you so much. Divine Source, thank you so much for our dear Leos. Thank you so much, Heavenly Angels. Thank you. Divine Spirit, guys, thank you so much. But, you know, the full moon is in your uh, true love. Yep, it's in your true love. And where it's toxic, you're going to see that. And you're really done with it, I feel. You don't want to... You're done with it. You want commitment that fits don't dull your shine keep on shining bright because you're attracting the right one okay you're trying you know spirit knows you're ready but you gotta let go of this you can't just wish for that person to walk away unfortunately you're gonna have to make that choice 
and spirit is guiding you away from the unhealthy connection you have with another release your karmic tie there's the karmic when you see the number five in your love life especially pay attention to it release your karmic tie with unhealthy toxic relationships right now and pray for the void to be replaced with unconditional loving bonds and healthy balanced connections but don't dull your shine dear leo share the love of the most divine and speak the very love you're gifted with through your creative talent, your creative expression, and your inner happiness. Be proud of yourself and take time to smile at how far you've come and just where you are going. Commit to yourself. Congratulations in advance, in advance because you're moving your relationship life to a deeper commitment. You're moving from friends to dating, from dating to exclusivity, to engagement, to marriage, and to realigning and recommitting to your partner. If you're single, you've moved up in your standards, your self-love habits, and you're ready for the next step in the dating process. Spirit knows it, but do you know it? Thank you so much, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Welcome that change, dear Leo. And you've, it's, it also, oh, this just came out, also is in your thought process. So if you're still hanging on to that toxic love, release yourself. Have pride. Be proud of yourself, dear Leo. Be proud of yourself. Well, thank you so much. Please like, comment, subscribe, and become a spiritual superstar, and share our spiritual guidance. Honey. I'll see you soon. Hi dear Virgo, I'm Nicole and welcome to your May 2018 spiritual guidance. Dear Virgo, for the first two weeks, it's all about new starts and new beginnings in your philosophy. Your ideals are changing. Um, you know, you're really seeing where you haven't traveled enough or uh, your connections that are long distance, that are global. You're broadening your, your tribe and you're really trying to figure out um, what are the missing links there. Keep going. Uh, you also may be finishing up a program, a training, education, your degree, uh, and you know, you're really figuring out how to synthesize and apply that um, into your life so that you can be successful. So be open to that change. Don't fear it. Uh, dive right in because I feel like you've already started that last month. And um, at the end of the month for you, this is really a fullness in your family. This is understanding what has changed in your, in your inside of your home. Um, this can also be moving um, locations as far as land and property. This might be a selling or deciding to do that. This might be understanding that, you know what, I'm no longer comfortable in this state, in this home, um, or I am comfortable with this. And this is, this, is our, this is our life. This is what goes on behind closed doors. But really looking at it, being comfortable with it, and really kind of sitting with it and, and, and nestled into it. So I really do feel also this is a respect, this is a love for a mother and father in your home. You may be that mother and father, but there's a closeness, there's a connection, and there's an understanding of where you're feeling pampered or not. So that really that self-love habit is coming in towards the end of the month. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Divine Source, thank you so much for our dear Virgos. Yeah, self-love habits is, I'm hearing a whole lot for you by the end of the month. And it's really sticking close to home. So I feel like you are taking that new philosophy and those new concepts that you learned and are learning and doing something with it. You might be creating content. You might be writing a book. You might be... Um, teaching the children inside of your home. You might have groups coming to your home now. But you, ooh, and there's family. But you definitely are sticking close to home. 
Wow, absolutely sticking close to home. Okay. So, you know, loving your friends and family is important to you. And so you're going in your life mission, your sole purpose, because you want to be around your family more and you're able to take care of family. And, uh, you know, where that energy is missing, be strong enough to keep going in that path because, honey, you're blessed to do that. Remember, you, you know, you've come a long way. So keep going, commit to it. You're building, you've got to be committed. You've got to stay strong, okay? You're, you know that you're creating your reality. You're creating your dreams, bringing them to fruition. And dear Virgo, for you, I mean, it's a new beginning in your philosophy. You're building a um, new structure. And this can be a new beginning in um, education. You could be going back to school. You could be taking a new course. You could be finally investing in a coaching program. You could be investing in um, a mentorship. Uh, but you definitely are broadening. You're not, you know, willing to say, I need to go it alone. No, at the end of the month, you're going to take all that information that's coming through your interaction with global contacts and travels and you're going to then create what needs to happen in your family and you're stronger than you're stronger than before and yes you are enough clearly you are super strong look at okay get clear get clear on where you're going what are your intentions Stay focused and look at that long-term goal. Don't hesitate, okay? Commit to it. Face your problems head on and you've got that courage and that confidence to be successful, okay? Everything that you've experienced in your life has made you stronger and courageous, dear Virgo. This is the time for you to say, you know what? I am going for it. Thank you so much. Because at the end of the day, this is why you're doing it. Because you want a family. Because you have a family that you want to start spending time with. You don't want to be going to a nine to five or a job for someone else forever. You're doing everything you're doing. Look at because of your family. Practice, practice, practice. Don't give up. Don't give up. Don't give up. Practice. It's going to get tough. When you feel like crying, do it, but don't give up. You might have to let some people go, but don't give up. Don't give up. You want that family. You want the one that's riding in on a carriage. Don't give up. Be optimistic. You want the love back in your love life, in your marriage. Don't give up. Be optimistic. It's time for you to deepen your faith and remain positive. Avoid the drama, gossip, and toxic situations. Surround yourself with love from a variety of resources, friends, and family. Don't forget to self-love at this time. Didn't I just hear that? Self-love habits, self-love, self-love, self-love for you. Spirit is reminding you that your blessing is riding in. Keep wishing upon the star, dear Virgo, and moving towards your intimate goals. Get real, get very clear, because you're building and you're stronger than you were before. And family is your motivator. And you are practicing. You are who you are becoming. Get your vision boards together. Thank you so much, thank you so much. You can do it, but you've gotta stay positive. Seek the high road, okay? Compromise, not every battle needs to be won. Now is the time for you to say, I don't even care, I'm not going there. Okay, you win, okay? Single or coupled up, spirit is reminding you of the power in relationship balance. Let go, let go of control, dear Virgo, and seek new ways to achieve the relationship harmony you desire. Release yourself from the karmic ties to control the outcome and the fear that you've been giving yourself your energy to. 
Release the control. You're too good for this. You're too good to be in control of something that doesn't need to be in your control. Let Divine Source step in. Source is reminding you of your inner power of just being. Self-love. Reflect on your standards and meditate on your self-worth. You may feel taken for granted and ignored. It's time to honor your values and your self-worth. And honey, we've got a beautiful seven-day self-love retreat uh, at NicoleXO.com. Right now it's on a flash sale and definitely look into it. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Divine Source, what is Dear Virgo meditating on this month? They need to know their self-love, self-worth, habits, habitual, no worrying. Ooh, I just heard you're a slave to your work. Balance is key. Missing out on life. No sunshine remains to be seen. Okay, so this is negative self-talk. You are working on positive self-talk. Call on your ancestors because, honey, they're right there. Pray for them as they pray for you on the other side and ask them to show up and point you in the right direction when karma comes because they already see you at the crossroads. What do I do? How do I do this? How do I succeed? There's a lot of nervous energy there. You, you're gonna see that path that you've gone down. You didn't like the outcome then. You're not gonna go on that path. Go on the new path that's unknown, but honey, you're stronger than before. Remember why you're doing it. Please like, comment, subscribe, and share, dear Virgo. Honey, I'll see you very soon. Hi dear Libra, I'm Nicole and welcome to your spiritual guidance for May 2018. Dear Libra, for the first two weeks, you're going to be transforming. It's all about what's been going on these past few years and I really feel it's, you know, coming to a beautiful blossom this month. I really do feel like, you know, you're building a new solid foundation and you've already been in the planning stage, the research stage for several years. So I feel like this is really going to be something big. And I just feel like you've made it, you've made up your mind. Uh, you're creating this new path. You've already got so much work in it. And uh, it's a beautiful, beautiful thing. This is kind of coming to that, that fullness of who you are and receive the support, allow people to help you because people are gonna be willing to do that for you because it's really something passionate uh, that you feel very close to and uh, it's beautiful. It's really, you're coming into your own and it's gorgeous. Definitely your money, uh, receive the benefits, the bonuses, um, the, the, uh, the beautiful appraisals, the feedback, the promotions that are coming your way. Um, might be some winnings coming your way. Taxes might be a little bit more than you thought, but really receive it. You're blossoming, you're growing, and you're glowing, you're transforming. Towards the end of the month, dear Libra, communicate it. Get out and about in your, communi in your community and really sell your product, sell your services, because you really are just networking at your best self it's gorgeous be out go to the networking events um, go to the uh, accept the invitations just be out at the end of the month speak communicate text messages emails get in touch with people because i really do feel like you are going to shine Thank you so much, Divine Source. Thank you so much. This is in love and money. This is just in your life, dear Libra. I just really see you shining and working it, having a ball doing it. I just feel people are like, oh my gosh, who is she? Oh my goodness, who is he? This has come out so many times. 
honey, and you're building a new foundation. This is strong. Be proud of where you're at because it definitely hasn't been easy at all. But dear Libra, everything that you went through made you stronger. And you've got that ability to really make some things happen this month and to really set some solid foundation in your community. Look at your energy. You're all about the beauty of everything. And that's really going to benefit you. Get out and about because people are going to see your craft. People are going to see the products that you make, your services, how you can really work a room and sell something, you know, because it's really something you, you're passionate about. So if you're in your life mission, beautiful time to get out and be a vendor, uh, get to any engagements that you can that are free because you network like a, you're our social butterfly you network like a champion because it comes so naturally it's not something that is fake and you don't have to really work at it this month i feel like you're transforming into your 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 higher self i really feel that people are really recognizing you because your soul is shining you're peeking through your human and see you're you're shining when you're out at these events you're pulling people together you're lighting up the room you are glowing you're glowing and it's gorgeous people want what you have so if you're in business for yourself get to those events do your research now when you stop watching your your sun your moon your rising or your cusp signs now go ahead and start researching what events you can get to because you definitely are working that room oh this came out before too your ancestors are here get outside and walk uh, when you feel the wind blow by you um, and it just tickles you when you feel that message that that voice when you hear it and it's not something you thought of before. It's your ancestral guides. That's divine source speaking directly to your soul. Pray for them as they pray for us on the other side, okay? And those are your ancestors. And they see you ready to make a big step. And for you, again, you're bringing all of that wisdom to your community. You might be opening up a brick and mortar. You might be broadening your community, but you're working in your community and you're bringing your community to you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Transformation. Receive that support because I feel like you're receiving it and then you're sharing it. It's a beautiful cycle of abundance this energy that I'm feeling Woo! goodness that I'm feeling for you all right so we want those two right there it's a beautiful cycle of abundance you're coming into your own you know be proud of yourself stand tall and keep your dignity no matter who doesn't like it you're building you've come a long way and this is a this is a few years i feel this isn't something that was overnight this is really something that you've been feeling building in you you had to get the courage indulge your creative um expression your intuition become wrapped in who you are becoming look at all of this artistic energy here that you're building upon how are you creating your destiny what are you creating are you a hairstylist now that has really broadened um, his or her um, territory you know are you a traveling um, hairstylist now what is it that you're doing that is so different that involves your community are you are you um, do you have a booth set up at um, somewhere that's 
that's hosting um, cancer survivors. You know, whatever it is, are you a makeup artist? Because I can certainly see somebody. There's someone that I used to follow. There's two people I'm looking at now that I used to follow on Facebook that are makeup artists that are amazing. Um, boy, I want to say Priscilla Ono and someone else that uh, lives in Italy. Gorgeous. They are just, their energy just comes through everybody that they um, create for. And it just, they're, they're healers through their craft. And I really feel like that's what you have going on here. Whatever it is that you're, I see someone hanging their artwork in a museum. Whoa, that's beautiful. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. And then I see that you didn't even feel like you were going to get that. You weren't going to get the approval for it. Oh, wow. Because you just jumped up for joy the second you left the building. That's beautiful. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. All right. Thank you so much. So, dear Libra, remember you're transforming in your love also. Your love life. And... Get out in the community because if you're single, you're being recognized. You, you know, you're glowing. Receive that invitation. Accept it. Smile. Be seen in your beautiful, loving energy. Nope, don't feel that. People are watching. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. So, major decision. A major decision to step forward. It might feel like it's out of your control, but spirit is in control. And it's necessary for you to make this choice to step forward in the direction that Divine Source has been sending you in. All right? Listen to your soul, not your human ego. Have fun whether you're single or coupled up this month. Spirit is calling in spontaneity. Laugh. Recapture your inner child and zest for life. Those magical moments are to be shared. Whether you're single or coupled up, get out and network. Have fun doing it. But release the emotional baggage. This is a major decision because I've seen this happening for three years for you. Some of you, it's two that you really realized, okay, I've got to make some changes. Don't be afraid to face the skeletons and leave the baggage behind. You deserve true love and happiness of mind, body, and soul, okay? Dear Libra, thank you so much, honey. Have fun this month. I look forward to hearing about all of your travels. Please like, comment, subscribe, and share, and I'll see you very soon. Hi, dear Scorpio, I'm Nicole, and welcome to your May spiritual guidance for May 2018. So Scorpio, for the first two weeks, your energy is really new beginnings in your business partnership and in your love partnerships as well. It's in the togetherness. It's trying to uh, figure out whether you want to commit, how you want to commit, recommitting, uh, maybe even... Uh, restating your vows and uh, just really coming together. If you're single, this is a great time to really start a new relationship if you're at that stage in dating or to just really figure out what it is you want in your relationship life. This is about the balance and the harmony and where it's not happening. There's new steps that are going to be presented to you in karma. So you'll see it as, okay, I tried this over here last time or last relationship. And now I'm going to try this over here in this relationship. So at, at towards the end of the month, dear Scorpio, this is about your values. So you're going to see where the money you're making is associated with the effort you're putting in and where that's not aligning in your job or in your your own business you're going to be willing to make those changes 
but the your earnings and your self-worth your values and your standards are going to be closely associated with relationship to another this month so where that's not um, balancing out then spirits gonna show you in karma so you're gonna have one way to do it it's gonna be very familiar and recognizable but then you're gonna have a whole new path thank you so much divine source thank you so much for our dear Scorpios thank you heavenly angels thank you so much divine spirit guys thank you so much all right so for my Scorpios out there woo you are in your life mission um, causes you to speak it encourages you to either be a keynote speaker you can be a manager um, I do feel many of you are in leadership roles uh, but definitely standing up for yourself and you might have your um, your vlog or your blog going on any Scorpios out there that are readers you absolutely have your confirmation here but definitely going back to school non-traditional traditional or even a seminar um, an online course going to the library really becoming immersed in that and wrapped inside of this beautiful soul purpose that's been calling you so absolutely your life mission is getting in front of people and being able to use your beautiful charming energy to really heal people to really make them feel um, that you really understand them and serving in that leadership role absolutely not only oracle cards but as a healer reiki healer as a empowerment coach also being able to just use your spirit of discernment you can do that in any way shape or form so you could um you can be a seamstress and be able to discern what's going on with your clients and have that rapport with them and really you know it affect your income because people want to come to you because they get so much more out of um, that basic service of just tailoring their clothes so really look at that for what it is look past just uh, reading Oracle cards but certainly that is a part of it thank you so much thank you so much and honoring your intuition you know that you are extremely um, intuitive and uh, many of you know that you're visionaries that you're seers and uh, absolutely are psychic and mediums thank you so much thank you so much so don't be afraid to self-educate to feel more comfortable Ooh. going into your mission And partnering up, building your tribe, building your um, your clientele, your customer base, but definitely communicating, not just verbally, but using social media. Reading up on how to get in front of your niche. Thank you so much. How to present yourself the best way. Thank you so much. And absolutely becoming the expert in your field. Oh, got four. All right. So, dear Scorpio, this month you've got the spirits of the mouse, the domestic cat, the gorilla, and the road runner. And make sure that you are looking at the details okay you've got your goal in mind but absolutely see what's not being said use your intuition and spirit of discernment and look past what else is going on okay it's time for you to step away from that fear and actually do it and to get out of that stuck stagnant mold the gorilla is fiercely loyal 
and just a gentle, gentle being. Take time out to be that active listener, but to also listen not only for pleasing other people and being that, that listening ear that you naturally are, but take time out and get feedback from family and from loved ones, really so that you can step away from that codependent energy of fear. It's really human conditioning. Laugh things off this month. This might be a challenging month um, for you. It might go into being challenging. And, you know, it's really the, the, the energy is a new beginning in your relationships. And so whenever that happens, there's an ending there also. But it is associated with your, your values and what you really value in a relationship with another, in love but also in business too. So your standards are changing, your energy is changing, Mercury retrograde might have, you know, caught you in agreeing to something that now you might regret even. But stand up for yourself and uh, really listen to what other people have to say, but it is time for you to have faith and look at the details, but keep, you know, your eye on the prize, on the goal. Because I just feel like many of you do, beautiful Scorpios are overthinking your soul purpose. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Overthinking it and then finding that year after year, you're still trying to figure it out. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. But honey, you're spiritually gifted. Don't question it anymore. You've got to strike out on, on your own and really make it happen. Thank you so much. Oh, thank you so much. Please show our dear Scorpios, Divine Source. And thank you so, so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Hmm, I am seeing a lighthouse. So I really feel that's telling you to shine bright. Oh, it is a tough one. It is a tough one. So there's some changes happening in your relationship life. Could be in your business, but I really do feel many of you, it's happening in personal, in your romantic. Could be with an ex-lover, ex-spouse. Um, but definitely there were some lies that you may have told. There's some lies that were told to you. There's some lies that you bought into. Maybe Mercury Retrograde um, brought up some smoke and screens there. But there is some abuse of volatile, angry energy that's not healthy. And Spirit is asking you to either seek professional help, mentor, um, counseling, and to break your connection with that. Pay attention to the red flags. You've been here before. Remember, you're going to see that karmic path. Go in the other direction. Communicate positive self-talk. It's time to open up and assert yourself. And be, be honest with yourself as well. Again, you might have agreed to something that now you kind of regret. Um, and it's time to really move forward. So I really pray you the best of everything, dear Scorpio. Scorpio remember that this new beginning is in your relationship life. And towards the end of the month, it is an understanding of what am I valuing? What do, what are my standards? Um, you know, what work am I putting in to earn the type of income that I want? And really making that decision to go out and do it. You know, you just had your full moon last month. Oh, wow. So, yeah, you really have some, um, you have a major decision to make this month because you've already hit that paradigm shift of transformation. So Spirit, this month is really putting you in front of some opportunities that are going to really create um, some major, major breakthroughs in your life. That does not come without challenges and tests. But remember to keep your beautiful sense of humor. Many blessings. Please like, comment, subscribe, and share, and I'll see you very soon. Hi Sagittarius, I'm Nicole, and welcome to your May 2018 
spiritual guidance. So Sagittarius, this energy is moving in May in your day to day. It's in your work. It's how you do it. It's how you show up for your job, for your career, your self-employment and what's healthy for you. This is a new beginning this month to start things fresh and to really improve the quality of your life. If you've been imbalanced in love and you've been working too much, then it's time for you to balance it out and let other things teach you about love. You might go ahead and get a puppy. You might get, you know, a pet that's teaching you how to commit in love. It might be where you're spending more time with children. You might be spending more time with the love of your life. But this is absolutely improving each step you take. When you wake up, there's something that is realigning with you because you're done with your past of either being all over the place or pouring your energy into one or a few areas of life. And these other areas are really um, not being nourished. By the end of the month, we have your beautiful full moon and it's all about you. This is expansion. This is taking those beautiful steps that spirit blesses you with the first two weeks of a new beginning and harvesting the outcome, really reaping the fruits of your, of your work and your efforts and having that reward and really seeing a glowing new you, an improved new you, a happier, more balanced, realigned new you with your success and with your with your new and improved goals in love and money let's get started thank you so much heavenly angels thank you so much thank you thank you thank you divine source we are so grateful thank you so much heavenly angels thank you so much Divine Spirit, guys, thank you. So, woo! Thank you so much. All right. Okay, so you're writing. You could be writing in your journal. Allow Spirit to automatic write through you, meaning get there, meditate, get into your sacred spot, and just start writing. Whatever comes up, you are healing yourself. You're healing others that are blessed to read what you write. So you might be blogging. You might be vlogging. Look at that. Writing your own books, but you are definitely expressing yourself. And there's your traveling. You know, you rule travel. And this is involved in your life mission. So please take what recent travels you've had and bless others with it by writing it down. Share it because your clients, your customers, your um, your audience, your niche want to hear it. It works for you. And it's really, I feel, um, dear Sagittarius, it's, it's, it's therapeutic for you. It's not just business. This is your life mission. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. And so absolutely write that book. Um, oh, thank you so much. See, trust that creative expression, that spirit automatic writing through you and telling you what to put on paper. All right. Trust it because it's just what spirit just said. You inspire and enlighten through the words that you are getting down on paper. And it's not you. It's spirit holding that pen. And, um, and so look at that face. Look how happy he is writing about his travels, sharing it with others, and really, you know, honoring that process within you. This is absolutely beautiful. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. It's about you. It's about how you convey your message. It's about you and how you connect with your audience. And this is the next step in many of your uh, life mission is really building your tribe, I feel. All right. Building your shape shifting. You got to practice. You got to start it. So where are you? Be where are you going? Who are you? Becoming because you are no longer your past. Look at this. You are no longer your past. Take some time out to meditate on it. Okay. And give it some serious energy 
there because you are moving, you're going places. And in your life mission, now is the time for you to kind of dial it back and get it out there on paper and print, communicating it. Um, if you are not in business for yourself, how are you realigning your resume, your cover letter? Um, are you looking into to seeking employment elsewhere, like um, on the other side of the globe, just in another state, another city, a different industry, a different career? Uh, definitely engage, welcome this beautiful culture um, that's calling you. You have a love for diversity and you are naturally successful, honey. Go to the library, look online, let Google be your best friend and research whatever spirit puts in your soul and share it. Okay, thank you so much. What a beautiful month, dear Sagittarius for you. Remember, you're open to health and wellness and practice you know, writing it down, planning. Um, in your love life, you are really studying um, being in love, being committed, falling in love, what that is like for you. What do you want it to be? This is really a paradigm shift that many of you are going through and it is a spiritual awakening. So if you questioned why things were, have been so weird, that's why, look at that. You want that deeper commitment. But Spirit is absolutely encouraging you to commit to yourself before you commit to anyone else, okay? You're reaching a higher level in relationship status. If you're committed with someone else, absolutely beautiful and congratulations. Speak up because it's been on your heart and your soul. Tell your partner how you feel and open up to the wonderful security of commitment to and from another. If you're single, it's on your soul and spirit. Spirit knows, dear love, this is your confirmation to keep your thoughts of unconditional love, pure light, and your needs and desires in relationship. Spirit is reminding you, dear Sagittarius, to commit to your self-worth before committing to someone else's standard for you. Thank you so much. So just what Spirit said earlier, see, you're in a spiritual awakening. Can you read that? A spiritual awakening is occurring and you are already open to receiving your enlightened higher self. Spirit is encouraging you to stop complaining. Okay, and that's a negative thought too, negative self-talk. And see the blessing in each moment and to acknowledge the tremendous support that you have in the spirit realm. And there's your romance. You just have to open up to spirit's love and divine embrace. It's time. It's so time for you to welcome another into your life and to commit. And you've got that on you. I feel like, you know, when spirit showed me the puppy of you going ahead and welcoming this, this understanding of unconditional love and what it looks like, what it feels like. Puppies teach us unconditional love. Animals teach us all about love from and to another. So it's time for you to wear your favorite scent. Um, you know, get out there and treat yourself because now your behavior is, you've got the octopus, your behavior is indicative of what you want in your life. You're practicing for what you are welcoming into your life, okay? Your glass is not half empty anymore. It's half full. You're ready. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And also, dear Sag, first two weeks are changing, you know, where you go to uh, either look or be seen. Look for love or be seen. You might change from online to getting involved in a, a group, a dance club, you know. Please listen to what spirit has for you. Look at that, you're unfolding. So this is your meditation for the month, being reminded that you are a light worker and you are igniting and, and inspiring the hearts and souls of many through your writing and you're writing about your travels and your love of that. Nourishing your soul 
while nourishing others. You're the lotus flower unfolding and you had to go through that mess in order to come out reborn. Thank you so much, dear Sagittarius. Please like, comment, subscribe, and share. And honey, I'll see you very soon. Hi, dear Capricorn, I'm Nicole, and welcome to May 2018 Spiritual Guidance. So Capricorn, the first two weeks for you are in your true love, and that's love of your life mission, your soul purpose. And whatever it is you're doing for a living, you definitely want to start it off by being empowered to move in that direction. What is it that you really truly love that brings you joy, fulfillment? Because that's where your energy is best is best placed in the first two weeks. It's a new beginning. Start it off that way. Um, this is in your creative expression. It's in recreation. It's also, uh, dear Capricorn, in children. If you're a teacher, if you're an educator, in any way, a mentor, this can be volunteering, having a side hustle that turns into a profitable business, but definitely you're climbing and you're, you know, you really are seeking the love of life and so your career has to be something that you truly are passionate about and where you're feeling burned out definitely dial it back focus on communing with the most high and ask what spirit wants you to do what is your calling if you need help reach out to me as far as your love you definitely are in your your true love so if that one person that keeps coming up, honey, it's for a reason. Re reach out to them if you can or ask Divine Source, especially ask Divine Source why they keep showing up because there's a connection there. So your twin flame, your soulmate's going to be popping up. You're going to see them on social media. They might reach out to you, but they're certainly going to be on your heart and soul, whoever that is. And that's whether you're with someone or not. But that, that is definitely what's coming up for you. And it might be because there's an unfinished, there's unfinished business or there's a karmic connection there. But this is definitely true love. Towards the end of the month, it's spirituality. Hidden enemies may come out, but it's also hidden enemy of self. So your shadow self, your fears, human conditioning, doubt, and all of that. A lack of spiritual um, deepening may come out. But where you're not listening and honoring your intuition, that'll come out towards the end of the month. Thank you so much, Heavenly Angels. Thank you so much. Oh, goodness gracious. What's going on? Okay. So it's time for you to take charge of the situation, not to let the situation rule you. Whatever that means to you could be in love, could be in your career. But it's time for you to put on that crown and get to work, dear Capricorn. So if you've been through the battle, you're going back in. There's your creative expression. It's all about that the first two weeks of May. So it's it. This is it. Where is your soul being called to? Because it is your calling that spirit is knocking in your soul. It's waking you up at night. It's coming in synchronistically. Spirit's telling you to study it. Go hard and see what's coming up for you. Because again, this is clarity about your life mission. Do the, you know, put in your due diligence. You're all about it. You're all about it. If there's any sign that is dedicated to be, to have self-discipline, it's you. And your ruling planet is in your energy. Saturn is back home with you, telling you to do it right. So here it is. If you think that you have decided to be with the wrong person, and now you're starting to see it because this is your twin flame and soulmate coming up too. It's going to happen now. Make the choice and do what you feel like you should have done or do it right. If you're staying with the person you're with, do it right. Start over and start fresh and build that solid foundation either way you put it. If it's your career and you feel like you're in the wrong career, you made a wrong move somewhere, we all do it in love and money in our lives. That's why we're born not to be perfect we get do-overs karma's going to show you exactly what to study how to research it be the leadership take the high road and definitely pour your energy into your craft 
become wrapped inside of whatever you're creating. You see how it's perfect. What he is creating looks exactly like his environment. It's because he's manifesting that and you can too, he or she. Thank you so much, thank you so much. It's time, thank you so much. It's really time. The Taurus, um, the Taurus moon, the Taurus new moon energy and the Sagittarius full moon energy is all about this success. This good fortune that you're tapping into is abundant energy. In Capricorn, you're all about putting in the work in order to achieve and reach your goal. Well, honey, this is building that solid foundation and being able to reap the rewards. So at the end of the month, you're all in your spirituality, your higher self, and you're gonna know what you haven't been listening to, as far as your intuition, if you uh, are just not feeling as connected spiritually, start deepening your spiritual practice every day. Wake up and be thankful, show gratitude, and then ask for your spiritual guidance. Thank you so much. And just say, please show me, Divine Source, please show me my spiritual guidance the way that I can receive it. It's on this month. It is on. And it's time for you to face it, to really go on and be that leader in your career and say, you know what? I got to do it over. I need a do-over. <laughs> we do that sometimes, don't we? Thank goodness. Oh my gosh, thank the most high that we get that. It's called karma. Karma is not always bad. Karma is dependent upon, you know, what you did. We all face it. We either have to eat it or we receive it, you know, in a good way. But either way, we get it. Thank you so much. And we deal with it. And that's what you're dealing with now. And so it's a beautiful thing, honey, because with Saturn, the taskmaster being home with you, it's really helping you live a much happier life going forward. All right, create that space. We talked about that spiritual uh, practice, deepen it. Please do that. And please accept the support from people that really, really care about you. Don't close them out. Don't shut them out. Okay, dear Cappies. You do not have to do it alone. Whoa. There's your children. There's your deepening of spiritual connection. And there's the breakup. Okay, so again, uh, anybody that is with someone you think is the wrong person or you've been wondering, should we get, should we separate? Maybe the separation has already started happening. It's time. It's time to give each other uh, some space. Um, you may have already separated or you have it on your heart and soul. If you're single, this is telling you don't go back to the one that's toxic and to keep praying for the one that you want to come to you, okay? Um, especially if you don't have any children yet or if there's children involved, this is telling you to be their advocate. This is telling you to go in a different direction than you've gone before. It's important for you to choose someone that wants children and will be a great parent. Consider your children's voice in this situation because guess what? You are their advocate. You are their voice. So trust them, trust the process. And sometimes it is a case of not staying together for the kids because the kids can feel that energy. Okay, so they're at the center of your intimate life, whether they're born yet or not, whether you want children and the other person doesn't, or whether or not you're trying to stay together because of the children, but you're fussing and fighting and all that good stuff. So not good stuff, but all that stuff, definitely reconsider it and figure out, pray together. You know, if that's not possible, you definitely pray. Um, because it strengthens your bond with divine source. Also respect and enjoy the different praying styles. And know that's a way to deepen your relationship through connecting with the most high, the most illumined. If you're single, pray for your new love while seeing your manifestation occur through meditation. And 
step forward in the direction that spirit is showing you. Uh, definitely pull back and honor your time with source. Let your heart heal, dear loves, and be reminded of your connection with God. Bring your union or your relationship life to the most high in prayer. Okay, you've got boatloads of that energy this month. Divine Source, please show dear Capricorn what their meditation is. Okay, be patient. Be patient. It'll all happen the way it's supposed to. Listen for your next step. Okay, listen for what it really is, what you really have to do. And um, I just really want to say that for many of you, it's not going to be easy. And uh, some of you have already emotionally detached, but many of you, I feel, are still going through that, mm, that, that back and forth. So I, you know, you, I, I give you my love and um, in my prayers, but definitely deepen your connection with Divine Source. Please like, comment, subscribe, and share, dear Cappies. Honey, I'll see you soon. Hi dear Aquarius, I'm Nicole and welcome to your May 2018 spiritual guidance. Dear Aquarius, for the first two weeks you've got um, definitely new beginnings in your home life. There's some changes happening that are intertwined with your, with your uh, career, I feel your life mission, your soul purpose, your calling and it's affecting your home. So many of you are working from home, you're establishing your business. I do feel that um, it has everything to do with your children. Um, really having that satisfying lifestyle. I feel like, you know, you're okay being selfish in that way and not letting too many people behind the scenes of what goes on in your home. I think that's really smart of you. And I really feel that many of you are just getting it in order. You might just be spring cleaning. You might be having garage sales and decluttering. You might definitely be dusting. I see you definitely um, getting the clutter out. I feel like you're like, oh, we just have too much stuff and you're getting it out. Uh, definitely, if you don't own a garage or you know a driveway or a yard, ask someone if you can have a yard sale over their house and give them you know a few dollars from the, the sales. Um, this is definitely also property, the land that you live on. Pay homage to your ancestors. Pray for them as they pray for us on the other side. And also, honor your mother and father. No matter what, if they've passed on, if they're still here, if there's been stress and strife and fighting and all of that, forgiveness is the key to your success this month. Towards the end of the month, dear Aquarius, this is all about your friendships and who you're associated with, what memberships you have. Um, you know, this is an ending to some of that. What you can't buy into anymore, you're gonna break the connection, the commitment, it's done. The agreement is no longer, whether it's verbal, whether it's a friendship, whether it's something you've been paying for, like a gym membership, whether it's um, any type of anything. So you might see uh, where you signed on the dotted line, you're like, you know, I don't agree with this anymore. I don't, the, the, the terms and conditions have changed or I've changed and they don't, I don't fit this over here, but you're going to be realigning and that's beautiful. Thank you so much. There's something up there, right? There was something that I saw that looked, there you are. All right. All right. Thank you so much, Divine Source. Thank you so much for our dear Aquarians. Thank you so much. Remember, you are the most intelligent sign, okay? Whatever you're trying to practice, Pass, practice makes perfect. You know, Kobe Bryant won some amazing award and he said the reason he did it, you know, was practice. He said he realized how much they practiced and he, I think he tripled what they were doing. He said, oh, beating them is going to be easy. And that's it. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. My dear love and light workers. Your purpose is to share that love, to heal others through your spiritual gifts. Don't give up. If you're having a hard time 
figuring it out or being successful, if you're giving away most of your services and not quite sure how to charge, reach out to me, honey, because you're a natural light worker, natural. Okay, you don't have to work at it. You naturally are gifted and intelligent. So please trust the process and trust the most high. You are our innovate, innovator. So use your quirky, unique, beautiful energy to help others and to help yourself. You are unlike anyone else. Teach it, spread it, share it because you are a healer, okay? Work with those children, whether they're in your home, whether they're your babies or not, but you have that unique energy that says, oh my gosh, I can trust you, you know? Thank you so much, thank you so much. So how are you teaching your children? You know, if you're uh, working for someone else and you're not working for yourself, even if you are, I just see some of you working with children. Oh goodness, at home, this just came out. Um, you are who you are becoming. You're no longer your past. So you really are becoming wrapped inside of that energy and really being that person but i do see many of you working with children on spiritual practice really meditating with them um, helping them through affirmations you know you've got the baby saying raise your vibration i do see you taking a more active role in um, their spiritual development and it's helping you practice and become who you are becoming, okay? Really feel um, your newness. Thank you so much, because you're bringing it to your now. Thank you so much, thank you so much. I feel like, you know, you really are making, starting new traditions in your home this month. Thank you so much, please show me. Thank you for blessing our dear Aquarians. Thank you so much. Divine Source, we are so grateful. Thank you so much. Okay. With the spirit of the mouse, make sure that you're paying attention to the goal, but make sure that you're looking at the small detail also. Okay. Go back over some things that you might have signed, you might have agreed to during Mercury Retrograde and just realign, restructure, reposition yourself so that you're facing success and you know that you have that clarity that you need. Definitely trust the process. Trust what's going on inside of you. Inspire. Tell those stories. You're trustworthy. That, that, see, this energy is just what children need. And please teach it to the babies because you, you understand them, they understand you. It takes practice to go into this next path of your life, to do it the way that you want to do it. But you can do it. You can do it. You've got that beautiful energy that's very unique. Not everybody gets it. They don't understand you. But more children understand you than adults. That unconditional love that you have. The animals come in to teach us that, dear Aquarius. So, you know, we can learn so much from the animal kingdom. But absolutely, if you have a, if you have a pet, take them for a walk if you're single. Because you may never know who you we're meant to meet if you avoid that walk. A lot of people let their dogs go in the backyard and they have to pick it up instead of going for a walk and let your dog go, you know, wherever and pick it up. But, but you're welcoming who you're going to run into, not by chance. You're allowing the energy to let you meet the love of your life, to meet your next business contact, you know? So absolutely also, 
let your friends hook you up this month for my single Aquarius is out there because the end of the month, the full moon for you is something coming to an ending in your friends. So this may be um, the fact that, you know, you say, well, okay, let's go ahead and uh, we know that we love each other. We know that we like each other. We have these, this big crush on each other's into the platonic friendship and we're starting to date each other. You know, they can make, it can be something like that. But remember the animal kingdom teaches us that we deserve unconditional love and it's true it's so true it's the best love you don't have to settle for someone that can't appreciate your beautiful spontaneous free-spirited all-loving unique self because you are very detached from everything in this world you're not of this world you know that how many did you get? Wow. All right. Honor your values this month. Source is reminding you of your inner power of just being. Reflect on your standards and meditate on your self-worth. If you feel taken for granted this month, definitely you're doing that. Honor the relationship you have with your father. If you are the father with your children, this relationship is meant to be of unconditional love this may be the father figure in your life coming up um, the connection with you and that person and the children being involved in it or whether or not you want children some of you are with your life partner and some of you are being told to be open to being with your life partner so go out take those babies out for a walk and you might just cross paths some of you are with the wrong person and there's a love triangle I feel here in your soul. May not be physically happening, but many of you already know that there's forbidden love with someone that came up or someone that you're seeing right now and you've got someone you're with that may be a life partner but may be a little boring to you. The spark might have gone out. So there really is an understanding here to understand your own value system um and how this is playing out you know your situation okay and the unconditional love from the animal kingdom but this is definitely a choice to be made let's ask what your meditation is this month thank you so much please show dear sagittarius their meditation honor your dreams you can live your dream life don't you forget it. You can change the outcome of your dreams. You create your own destiny. Thank you so much, dear Sagittarius. Please like, comment, subscribe, and share. And I'll see you very soon. Hi, dear Pisces. I'm Nicole, and welcome to your spiritual guidance for May 2018. So, Pisces, the first couple of weeks for you really are focusing on um, your communication and going into uh, how you're how you are expressing yourself in social media in verbal communication conversation and Pisces this really is about asserting yourself and uh, really being um, powerful and empowered in the way you communicate and approach different situations. This is in body language, text messages, voicemail. Um, this is choosing to text message over having a conversation. This is really stepping into that vulnerability and that maturity of having a good conversation and not choosing to try to control it, I feel, through text message and blocking and also um, really how you're advertising in business how you're marketing yourself and stepping forward into the next best thing at the end of the month you've got a beautiful chance to opportunity rather to change how you're viewed in in your industry to really have a position that's highly visible to really attain um, 
obtain an achievement, a milestone in your career, but to really be on a great positive track forward and upward, like you're climbing the ladder of success. You really are um, in a great position. So communicate effectively this, this month and towards the end of the month, you really are, there's an opportunity there that places you exactly where you want to be. There's sacrifice there. So definitely honor your intuition. You are psychic, you are a visionary, you are a seer. Honor your intuition. Thank you so much. And this is also, what do you want as far as romantic status? How do you wanna be seen? Are you done um, being seen as a single person? Are you ready to uh, start mingling? Do you want a deeper commitment? Whatever your heart's desire is this month, dear Pisces, Spirit is telling you, you create your reality. Dreams do come true. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. You are absolutely manifesting. You've got options here. Balance out that energy, but you've got some serious things opening up. So definitely know that if one door closes, many open, but communicate effectively. By the end of the month, you're going to be harvesting. So practice, practice, practice. Become who you are becoming through strengthening your daily spiritual practice and Pull out your vision boards this month for sure, for sure. For you, absolutely. Thank you so much. But don't just do it. You know, there's a process to it. Don't just create it and forget about it. And you can look on our channel and there's some videos on vision boards. Stay in the background and adapt rather than coming out of a bag on anybody. Okay, rather than really being spiteful or um, just going back to the old behavior, you know, attempting to control it and manipulate it, okay? Lay low for what, you know, when you need to, for how long you need to, because you're staying in touch with your heart's desires, okay? And if you feel like, you know, you're ready for private coaching, then reach out to me and we'll make it happen. Because you're being called to lead. This is taking the high road. Okay, so you've got to trust yourself here. This is a great opportunity. You've got many options opening up in love and in money, but you've got to practice in this new behavior and this new mindset that spirit is presenting for you because the blessings are there, but it is a matter of breaking human conditioning and you can do it. You can do it. If you're stuck on how to do it, definitely reach out to me and we'll, we'll figure it out together. All right. Pull back, really honor your intuition this month. This is gonna be really pivotal for you. You are in a leadership role. You're ready to accept a new opportunity in your career life and there's something opening up. You wanna make sure you accept the right one and that you stay calm. You have the calm waters going on, but you have the stealth courage and braveness or bravety that you need, you are going to attack the right way, but you gotta practice, 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 okay? They're guiding you, they're supporting you in creating the life that you keep dreaming for, the relationship that you keep dreaming for. But there's some old behaviors that Spirit's telling you to pull away from. All right, it's time.
for you to love self. You know, self-love is key in any relationship, whether you're married, single, committed to another, dating anyone. You've got to commit to self-love before you commit to anything. We've got a beautiful um, e-program, seven day, seven day uh, program for you on self-love. So look out for that in the links down below. But it's time for you to start putting on your favorite cologne, your perfume. Um, how are you seeking to be romanced by your partner? Are you doing it for yourself? Are you wanting them to treat you like a king, but in your own home, you've got clothes all over the place. You, um, you know, you're not honoring your own nutrition. You eat anything, but you want your partner to cook the best of everything for you. What is it that's out of alignment? Thank you so much. And learn to be appreciated um, and to appreciate the beauty and just being romantic and falling in love and being full of love. But this is a there's a difference here, dear Pisces, from falling in love with the potential. So it's really time to watch people too, I feel. Because you've got the chameleon, step back and really take a bird's eye view, meaning view everything from an objective standpoint and then make your decision. Okay, so there were some lies that were brought up last month that could carry over into this month um, and there's some counseling that needs to happen. But to be honest with you, as always, Dear Pisces, I don't feel this to be coming in from anyone outside of self. For me, this is practicing that new behavior, that new mindset. Now, some of you definitely, this is going to resonate with um, a toxic relationship. But this is also coming in from don't come out of a bag on someone unnecessarily. I feel like Mercury Retrograde got... got get the best of you uh, for many of you dear Pisces but begin healing through reconnecting your relationship with the Most High anyone in an abusive volatile angry um, and not unhealthy relationship you're being guided to seek professional help okay very clearly here very clearly seeking professional help seeking professional resources, trusted sources, and consult with each other. Okay, if you're single or coupled up, sharing your thoughts and feelings opens you up to the greater possibilities that Source has in store for you right now, dear Pisces. Thank you so much, because there's so much, but there's a mind shift. There's practice to a new behavior, and um, for me, it takes a, a straight six months. And it's possible because we see it happen all the time in my private coaching sessions and in my own life. Six months. You can take an accelerated course. Like we have that seven week self-love retreat. But you've got to repeat it. Practice. For a straight six months. Okay. Thanks. Thank you so much Divine Source. Please show dear Pisces their meditation. Self-love honey. Honor your self-worth. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Honor your self-worth. You're spiritually gifted. You already know this. So focus on how you're helping. Um, focus on your intuition. What is your intuition telling you? Don't be afraid to use your intuition because it's definitely going to be showing you where this is not happening enough for yourself and for others and where this needs to happen and where this has already happened. Remember that it could be very well, which I feel most of you, um, and I just saw 70%, that doesn't happen too often, but so I feel 70% of you, it is self-lies. It is um, the self-sabotaging, the self-destructive behavior, and the refusal to really practice into this new mind shift or mindset but many of you may not even know 
that that has to happen. Focus on your heart's desires, okay? Focus on your heart's desires and love and money. All right, dear loves. Thank you so much, dear Pisces. Please like, comment, subscribe, and get out of any unhealthy connections that you have with your human and with another. Love you, honey, and I'll see you very soon.